So in this video, we're going to talk about drawing uh, the, nitro, uh, the nitrogen dioxide. We're going to de determine is this molecule polar or not. So we have a nitrogen and we have uh, two oxygens. And so I know from my PR table, nitrogen gives me five valence electrons. An oxygen gives me six valence electrons. So we have two times six, which is 12 from the oxygen uh, plus a five from the nitrogen. And that gives me 17 uh, total electrons that I have to place. All right, so usually in a molecular formula, the, the, the atom furthest to the left would be your central atom. And so at this point, we could actually put two oxygens around our nitrogen. Now we could start to form single bonds between the two and just build up. And so at this point, nit nitrogen is one of those rule, uh, one of those um, um, atoms that typically satisfy the octet rule and so is oxygen. Now we've ha we have four, uh, four valence electrons around the, 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 the nitrogen, nitrogen at this point. So we could form a single, a double bond between uh, these two, and that gives me six valence electron around the nitrogen. I could also put two lone pairs on the oxygen on the left, and this will satisfy the oxygen on the left octet rule, right? Two, four, six, eight. Now, with respect to the oxygen on the right, I could possibly put three pairs of lone pairs on the oxygen on the right. So let's count how many electrons we've used thus far. The oxygen on the right octet is now full, right? We have two. We have two. Uh, we have two electrons from the single bond, and then three pairs of lone pairs. So we have two, four, six, eight. So let's count how many total electrons we've used thus far. And let me erase this. I don't like how this looks. All right. So let's count how many electrons, and that looks even worse. Uh, okay. Um, but so let's count how many electrons you've, this, you've, you've used thus far. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we've used 16 electrons and we counted a total of 17, so we're missing one. All right? And so the only other place for us to put this electron is actually on the central atom. Now, this molecule is neutral, there's no charge. What you'll actually see is that if you do uh the formal charge for oxygen we know that which is just a quick uh subtraction i'm just doing this in in in, in um uh, really quick we get six electrons from the the periodic table and we subtract that from the total number of electrons pertaining to oxygen on the on in the molecule right so this would actually be seven so oxygen has a negative one of formal charge and i know i just went through that really quickly but there's actually a, there's actually a formula so if you go through the formula you'll see that the actually the oxygen's negative charge um is actually a negative one now the nitrogen is also a positive one and the idea is that if we take five electrons from the valence uh from five valence electrons that we know nitrogen has and we subtract it from the total number of electrons we have uh around nitrogen which if i look at this is really one two three Four. That's what I mean, uh, but that's a shortcut way of doing it. You could actually calculate the formal charge yourself. You will see that we have four. So this would be uh, five minus four, and so we get a plus one. So the nitrogen in this case actually has a plus one charge. So the nitrogen in this case actually has a plus one charge. So overall, our molecule is neutral. Now, is this molecule polar or not? Well, we know that nitrogen, oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. And so if we draw our dipole moments, then the oxygen is, should be hogging the electrons. All right. So in essence, if you're looking at this, dipole moments cancel out. And we should say that nitrogen dioxide is actually a nonpolar molecule. But have you see, have, as you've seen in a lot of the videos, whenever you have any sorts of lone pair, whether it be in pairs or just one, in this case, it's actually a radical, then it actually switches your bond angles. So what this molecule really looks like is something that looks like this. The bond angle switch down. And that should be a nitrogen in them. So what you really have is the molecule that looks like this. And so we still have our lone pair And so if we redraw, because the, the, lo, the because the, the 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 electron on the central atom pushes the bond angles closer or closer to each other, then if we actually redraw our dipole structures, you'll actually see that these are not going to tilt tail. 
And so the addition of these is actually straight down the middle. And so we do have a net dipole moment, which is this green arrow right here. So this is why this molecule is actually a polar molecule. And don't forget our pretty charges.